Hey y'all, it's your girl Kimberlyn XO. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am finally doing this e-girl trend. It's been on the internet for months now. I am late because I've just been living my life while indoors, but I figured I might as well make one because there's nothing better to do, right? So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Let's start off by filling in my brows. This is Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. The majority of this makeup I got from BoxyCharm. That involves a lot of blush, so I feel like this whole makeup look is irrelevant if our main focus isn't the blush. That brow looks really good. Excuse my hair. I have it up instead of a pineapple. I was way too lazy to style it or anything. Y'all know my pineapple is my go-to and also my downfall. This pencil is in a gray brown shade it's not too dark and i think that's gonna go really well with this look i'm tired of playing with my brows this is just gonna have to do for now i am going to jump into my eye makeup gonna keep it really simple this Too faced natural matte palette i haven't tried it out yet so i'm gonna try this out and it has the most natural shades in it like look at that first thing i'm gonna use is my primer that i'm almost completely out of by ColourPop. I know in some of these looks people use the blush as eyeshadow. I don't know if I'm gonna be into it though. Now I'm gonna go into that cinnamon scented Too Faced Natural Mattes palette. Oh, that's a nice natural color. I could work with this. That'll do. I'm literally gonna stop right there. Now for liner. Now I'm gonna move on to my face. Starting out with some primer. For my foundation, I have two different foundations by Becca. One is in maple and one is in bamboo. And this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. One is a little bit lighter, a summer shade, and then a winter shade, you know. First I'm gonna start off with bamboo. Last time I used it, it was too light, so I ordered maple, and then all this stuff started going on in the world, and we were told to stay indoors, so I have been away from the sunlight, and my skin has lightened up a bit. It's storming. The same concealer that I used earlier on my lids to conceal my face. I'm gonna take that sponge from earlier and blend out the ends with the foundation. Mm-hmm, get her forehead. I'm trying to start cleaning up while I do my makeup so that I don't have to rummage through everything trying to clean up last minute. So, first thing I'm gonna do is set. So I'm gonna go back to an OG. I haven't used a setting powder in a long time actually over a year or so makeup expires it's probably expired but this is the hg flawless absolute new york banana brightening powder it has a yellow tone to it and i feel like for this look i want that i'm gonna actually take what they have on the sponge and put it on a little brush and then start to set my face And I'm gonna wipe it right away because I'm not a baker. I'm a setter. I'm a light setter. Kind of feel like I want to put a little bit more under my eye area because I feel like I'm doing soft cosplay. And then to set the rest of my face, I am going to be using the usual Black Radiant Setting Powder and Bronze Glow because I'm so pale. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put this on my forehead too. 
and drag it along the sides of my nose. That looks good to me. Adding some contour. Same brand, Black Radiant. Switch mahogany this time. Not too much. Also going to contour my nose. Now for my blush. I'm going to use a blush that I use in almost every video that I've been hooked on. It is from the Alamar Trio Blush Palette in the shade Isla. It's this pretty coral shade of blush. I know some looks have used freckles. I've never done faux freckles before in my life and I'm not about to try it today. I'm going to take loads of blush and just pack it on. You guys know how fearful I am of using too much blush in my makeup videos. I always say one of my makeup fears is too much blush. And now look at me. I've grown so much. I'm going to also put some on my nose. Actually, I'm going to try to contour. Use it as a contour. kind of cute in person I have on a lot I don't know if the camera is picking it up that much I'm gonna add some more just for the camera's sake I for sure see it now perfect no freckles needed now I'm gonna add some highlighter This is cute. I'm gonna add some of this to my Cupid's bow too. I don't even know what to put on my lips at this point. I put highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes. This is always how it starts. I'm just gonna add a little. I'm gonna add a little bit more and then you're glowing in the dark. Now, not only are you supposed to look like you have a cold, but your lips are not supposed to be fully done in lip color. I'm gonna try to find a shade close to this blush and just kind of blot it on my lips. Out of some of my lipsticks and glosses. Yeah, I'm gonna do this red and hope for the best. Okay, so I got lipstick in the middle, foundation on the outside. I covered up most of the highlight because I wasn't really feeling it. Yeah, that looks more sickly to me. Am I wrong? So now I'm going to set this. I'm happy with how the base looks. And I'm going to put on some brow gel and some mascara. I love the way that Tarte setting spray smells. So here we have the finished look. My first time trying this e-girl trend. I have been itching to try this look and I'm happy that I did. I feel like an anime character. I looked up the definition of e-girl. I don't never really know what the hell they're talking about, but I feel like an anime character with my makeup like this or somebody who has the flu or something. That's all that I got for this look, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and slap that notification bell to get notified every time that I post. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.